powering down. The stress that comes from time compression and overload is also often seen where you burn the midnight candle to get the job done. The best balance challenge response in this situation is when you see that you have reached a diminishing return, power down. That said, the number one cause of pain and a major stressor is our attachment to a successful outcome. The best balance and challenge response for conquering the pain of stress is to let go of your attachment while at the same time not going to the other side of the pendulum to be detached. This can be achieved by saying, I prefer to win. I don't demand it. The Creative Problem Solving Challenge Response and Your Creative Workshop. If you find yourself in a highly stressful situation or you are losing the game, the best balance and challenge response is to do what coaches do, which is to take a time out. This will allow you the time to stop the imminent catastrophe you see playing out in your head and time to calm down and gain some clarity into the situation and it might just change the dynamics and the momentum in the game. And similar to a team who goes to the locker room at halftime, you need to go to your creative workshop to chat with your life coach so as to balance the situation and find a creative solution. Necessity is the mother of invention and reframing the problem to a golden opportunity. Stress and high pressure causes necessity, which after all is the mother of invention. And as said, stress is the response to a perceived threat or imminent danger, a necessity where you have no solutions. That said, if you practice creative problem solving and find an innovative solution that is a creative way out of the mess, then there is no threat and danger left, and so there is no stress. The best way to creative problem solving and thereby conquer your stress is to reframe the problem to a golden opportunity. Just know that stress is the catalyst needed for innovation, so it can be a good thing. And when you are solutions driven, you can take the lemons you have been dealt, balance the situation, and make lemonade. The Big Picture Vision if you wish to create your way out of a stressful problem, you first need to remove yourself from the situation by, metaphorically speaking, climbing to the top of the mountain to see the big picture. The right lens and focus. To innovate your way out of a stressful problem, you need to see your situation from various angles and perspectives. Sometimes you will need a wide angle lens, while at other times you will need to have a close up focus of the situation until you narrow in on the best solution. Thinking outside the box. If you have found yourself boxed into a stressful situation, the best balanced challenge response is to find your way out by thinking outside the box, where you are open to the infinite possibilities and solutions. And even though you are feeling the stress, it is best not to settle for the first right answer, but rather the best right answer. And to find a creative solution to a stressful situation, you need to do your homework and then connect multiple dots. That is ideas, the convergence of trends and the like. Problem solving and moving with spirit. Worry too much versus worry less by seizing the day. Here is a huge secret for achieving balance and conquering the stress that comes from worry and anxiety that is bordering on panic. If you have a problem, jump on it right away. If you can do something about it, there is nothing to stress out about. And if you can't do something about it, here again, there is nothing to worry about. That said, if you jump on your problem and then take action, there is never anything to worry about. The position of greatest opportunity. To implement the best strategic solution, it is wise to place yourself in the position of greatest opportunity. 
As illustrative, if you wish to solve a funding problem, you might want to go to New York City, which is the financial capital of the world. Or, if there is a good career opportunity in Colorado, then you might want to consider relocating to the mountains. Mindfulness and paying attention to what is wanting to happen. The secret to problem solving when you are in action is to listen for the best solution to a stressful situation, which we call mindfulness. Here, you need to listen to what your logical mind wants to happen. But more importantly, listen to your instincts, as they will tell you what is wanting to happen and guide you in the right direction. Serendipity. If you listen to the best solution that is wanting to happen, there will be whispers, signals, and coincidences where suddenly, magically, the right people, solutions, and opportunities will seem to appear out of nowhere. It is here that the magic starts to happen. The Principled Negotiation Challenge Response Once you have found the best innovative solution to your problem, you may then need to pitch it to others to get their buy-in through the game of negotiation. That is because life is a game and negotiation is the number one game skill as it involves back and forth, give and take, conversations where the outcome often determines your life success and thus the quality of your life. I'm okay, you're okay, and separating the people from the problem. The first secret to a successful principled negotiation is to come from a balanced I'm okay, you're okay position. You can best accomplish this by separating the people issues, such as miscommunication, misperception, ego-based judgments, and blame and invalidation from the actual problem. The best challenge response is to first validate others by listening to them and then respond by saying something to the effect that you have an interesting point of view, which neutralizes any stress from possible differences of opinion. I win, you win, and focusing on needs and interests. The next secret to a successful principled negotiation is to discover the needs and interests of all the participants so that you can develop a win-win scenario. The art of the deal, creating options for mutual gain. The final secret to a successful principled negotiation is to practice the art of negotiation where you connect the needs and interests to create win-win options that are of mutual benefit to all. The Principled Conflict Resolution Challenge Response Unfortunately, not all negotiations are collaborative, but instead they are adversarial and stressful, which is most frequently caused by a jungle of people problems to include miscommunication and misperception and anger-driven ego-backed judgments which is often associated with blaming and finger pointing. Judgment seen in blaming and finger pointing often triggers the fight flight anger response in those under attack, which then escalates the situation to a full blown conflict. Anger management and principled conflict resolution. Ultimately, the best balanced challenge response is to practice anger management, which you can best do by first taking a time out, taking some deep breaths, and then reprogramming yourself by saying impulse control, then shifting your negative energy to positive energy by saying to yourself mood control. It is here that you can let go of the blame game by saying let go knowing that when you blame others, you surrender self-control and only escalate the conflict. 